my with pleasure. my audience on this show. This yeah. is Nancy Bram Muller. She's our representative from the really nice people at Plow and Hearth. Okay? Yeah, uh, exactly. Love it. I love that finally we, we were able to do a whole bunch of different Plow and Hearth things in one show mm -hmm. that showed how diversified that brand is in terms of their artistry. Yeah, exactly. These are little mini planters. They're all made of metal. Yep. It's tin art to the ultimate degree. And the little pots come with it. Yes. So all you have to do is figure out what your favorite plant is going to be. And these are all done so that they'll reside outdoors. Am I right? Yeah, these are fine to okay. be outside. And so what I love about these is Plown Hearth has kind of taken that idea of, you know, like maybe you went to that antique store and you found something that was an old toy and you thought, hmm, I'd love to do something with that. Maybe I can turn it into a planter. Yeah. But they went ahead and did that for you. And these are in those Americana colors. You're going to choose by what the pattern is on the wings. So this is the striped version. It's got a blue body. Yep. You, each of the propellers is different as well. So the propeller on this one is red. The propeller on the red one is striped. The red one you're going to call by stars. So, so stars and stripes. You've got stripes. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know what? That makes perfect sense. It does. It does. So they're, they're each all that Americana, red, white, and blue. Got that antiquing on there. You'll see here there's like brown streaking. That's to make it look like it's kind of antiqued and older. It's not something that's, you know, that you have to worry about. That's part of the design. And so these are designed to go outside, to be different than that terracotta plant. Right. And what I've done is but, but, I... By the way, yeah. yay. Yeah, I know. I know. I love yeah. having something yes. a little bit different. The pot, as you showed, comes out. All I did was I just went to the store okay. and I put a, dropped a pot, a plant in here. There is a hole in the bottom. You can see that right there. So if you want to plant directly in here, you can. All right. But I just dropped a couple of plants in here. And in so the cool. one in front of you, it's just a faux plant. That's so yeah, it's just a full plant. So. What, what Plow and Heart does is it allows you to express yourself in some way mm -hmm. in your garden. And, and I, I'm such a nerd. I, I love aviation. I've been, you know, it's been my passion since I was eight years of age. That's cool. And this harkens back, mm -hmm. harkens is a word we don't use very often, <laughs> uh, back to the old World War I planes. Yeah. And an American hero, a guy named Eddie Rickenbacker, and it was what they called the Hat and the Squint, uh, the, the Hat and the Ring Squadron. Cool. He was yeah. America's first aviation ace. The guy owned the Indianapolis Motor Speedway at one time. Oh, that's cool. Neat. Yeah, just a neat guy. And I fell in love with these old airplanes. Yeah. So they're really a great way to be able to give something to that person who loves airplanes. Yes. So whether someone is going to use it in their flower bed like we have there, I have it balancing on a rock and I just dropped a potted plant in oh, there. Oh, that's cool. And, or maybe it's someone who has an office and they just would like to have something in their office. Maybe you're going to put the pens and the scissors and that kind of oh, stuff in Oh, I never thought that. about that. Or that's maybe a good idea. Or maybe you're having um, a party and you want to roll up your silverware and you want to put it in <laughs> a napkin and you can put it in there. That's what good a too. darling little centerpiece. That's good. And as we were talking about with our flag, this is Americana. So this is something yep. that can sit outside. It's a great decoration for all of the summertime, but also, you know, it's it's great for like on a table centerpiece. If you're having a Fourth of July party, how cute to put some flowers in there. So many different ways that you can use these, even though they are designed as a planter to use outside. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. That's cool. They're really different. One of the guys upstairs a little put a little plastic bowl in there, dips chips. There you go. Guys, That's a great. Someone's thinking, thinking creatively. Food. Love it. Love it. So here you're seeing, yeah. here is the metal wings. The whole body is made out of metal. You've got the blue body here with the, the, the red and white striped wings. And I love that it looks vintage. It does. Mm -hmm. It is harder, by the way, to paint something that's new and make it look old than it is to take something that's old and make it look new. That makes a lot of sense. It really does. And you, seem, you seem surprised that I said something. That no, you make always sense. make sense, but you also make me laugh. I, it's too. a three-hour <laughs> show. I try, I try to make sense at least, Most at least twice <laughs> in a three-hour show. Well, yeah, you accomplished that. Huh? <laughs> well, here is our one that is the stars, and again, you are choosing by what's on the wings. Stars and or stripes. The stars or stripes, and it's very simple to assemble. You're just going to pop the wings on. Okay. You've got your pot that has the hole, so if you want to plant right in this, all I did was put a faux plant in there, put it in there, Wonderful. and you can use it indoors or outdoors, and really show your patriotism. All right, I got one for you. Did you know 
that the guest coming up next in the show is a pilot. I did, yes, actually. Darn it, well that ruined the whole and surprise. I I do know that. Well, I'm going to I'm going to go say hello. We'll go have fun. <laughs> That's right. Good to see you, Dan. <laughs> the Thank best. you. I want to talk to you about Paradise Lights. Just an ex